Hey, welcome back to Triple R. We're gonna take a look at Ninja Card Game or Ninja High School, the card game. Never played it. It's gonna open it up. Check out the components. All right, Ninja High School, the card game. Let's open it up here. It says 1999 on it for price, but I know I did not pay you that. I'm pretty sure because I am cheap. Give you the blurb there. Give you a couple seconds. Or you can just pause it. All right. Well, we get a lot of cards. Jeez. Wait. Okay. Instructions. Four-page instruction booklet. Too complicated. You know what? Maybe I'll pause it and look how to play right quick. Okay, so I glanced through the instructions. It's, eh, it's, it's, it seems okay, I guess. So at the start of the game, each player is going to take a character card. I think there's 11 of these. And this is the added power to your dice roll when you go after a plot. So this guy seems pretty good. Well, he has two life. That's the ninja stars. So I, didn't, I can't really find instructions, but I just didn't see it. I guess when you're defeated, you're going to lose a life, and when you're out of life, you're out of the game. So Zetraman, Masters, then a winning condition, winning plot, attack of the giant monsters. So he was able to win this plot. I guess he would win the game. But other people, of course, are going to try to stop that. So how to win the game. Get 100 more points, succeed at your character's winning plot, or be the last player in the game. So, let's say I choose Zetraman. This will be my character. You're going to draw 7 cards. That will be your hand. And then on your turn, you draw 1 card. And then everyone's going to put as many plot cards as they want in the middle of the table. This is your storyboard. But really quick. So, yeah. Character cards. Epi plots. We have a certain character that wins this plot, they'll win the game. Fight cards. It becomes a single dice battle between two people. The winner will get the plus two, uh, plus ten points. And then if you add these, I guess, during the fight, you'll get these bonuses. And you can add armor and weapons, so you'll get plus two to your power. And then complications to make things harder. Search for, uh, search discards for a weapon and put it into play immediately. This weapon gains plus one power, keep this card with a weapon. If you discard it, then discard this card. Okay, so this adds to a weapon. So it actually gets a weapon and adds plus one power to it. So the opening mechanic seems a little bit odd. It says when it's your turn, draw the one card. Everybody puts as many plot cards as you want in the middle of the table. So you have like a silly plot. Personal plot. And a bubble and that. So I guess everyone does this. And then on your turn, you choose a plot attempt from the storyboard. You can have one plot on your turn. Then play as many complications or weapon cards, everybody, to so all the players at the same time. So say I'm Zetraman. I only have two life, so I don't want to lose a life. Lose a life. This is an easy plot. 
It's only worth 10 points. You need 100 points to win. It's 10, 10, 20, 20. Those are pretty big risks. So say I'll say, I'm going to go after the prom. Now everybody from their hand will start playing complications to make it more difficult for me. And I can play a weapon. People Legion gives me plus four, but I discard it in a turn. So let's say other players don't play like a complication on to this. Target carry gains plus two power or target player gains plus two difficulty. So we're gonna play Contraminator onto the prom and they're gonna say target plot gains plus two difficulty. So it goes from seven to 90 to nine. So Central Man has three power base. I'm gonna look through my hand. I don't really wanna lose a, um, a plus four power. We have giant robot, these are all really good. That, that's my only uh, two choices for weapons. So I'm just gonna wing it. I have three power, plus three to my roll. Again, he only has two life. So another thing, if you have these symbols, this little S. I get focus. SSC. So you're gonna look on different plots. Like this one has the SC. So he would get an additional plus one power if he's going against this plot. But he's not. He's going for a prom. We've added plus two difficulty. And people are just gonna keep piling on. We'll say it stops there. I'm not gonna play any weapons. It's a two-player game, so I'm gonna play this. So I need a nine. So I'm gonna roll the two dice. I got a 9 plus 3, so I have 12. So I get this. Now these go underneath your character. Like so. So fail plots go back into the storyboard. Tuck successful plots under your character card as shown. So the title sticks out. And it gives you your bonuses. So the problem's not bad because it gives you a it gives him a plus one period. So now he has four to his die rolls. That's really good. So this would just discard. And if there's more than nine, you would discard all these until there are nine left. Then everybody draws up to a full hand of seven. So I have one, two, three, four, five. So I draw two. Next player goes, draws a card. So I guess I start the next player's turn. Again, you'll, you'll fill the storyboard. So I drew two. I got an epic plot here. It's worth like 50 points. I'm gonna put an epic plot into play. It's gonna go around, people are gonna be beating plots left and right, so on and so on. So if it came back to me, I get to draw a card. So say I want to go big, I want to 50 points. I need a 16. I already got plus four. So people are going to add their stuff. Let's say it's got a complication here. So say opposing player is going to play Destructo. Add plus three difficulty to any target plot. And add P to the target plot. So which is fine because Zetraman doesn't have uh, P on his plus side, on his plus power. We'll add this. I'm already at four. I need 16. So I'm gonna add the plus four. All right, another plus four. So these will discard at the end of turn. And 
and try to be safe and sorry. I'm gonna add these to my power. So this is constant because he's won this plot. This whipping actually, I guess, goes under as well because it doesn't discard. Okay, so now I have five base power plus eight. So is that 13? So my 13. So unless I get, what, snake eyes? Is that right? 10. Well, actually, it was 19. 23 easily beats, what, 19? Well, I guess not easily. So if they had more complications, I could have been in trouble, and I would have lost a life if I were lost going down to one star, which is not good for Zetra Man. And these were discard. How we get... Ah, see, Drain Hell, it's a, lot, it's a lot of points, but no bonuses. So. Get to 50 points. Because I just add those back to somewhere here. In my point pile, maybe. And play continues. So on and so on. And then each character has their own special abilities, life. Yeah, I had a fight thing here. What's that at? So some plots have the word fight where the difficulty should be. You know, don't roll. You roll against another player. But it doesn't specify, I guess, any player. This makes no sense. I mean, there's no negative effect. So any player, I guess, just rolls. You take one dice. Do a roll off. You win. You get, you know, the 10 points. And if you use these weapons, you'll get some bonuses. So this game's, I guess, kind of easy. Seems a, seems a little messy at first with, like, just playing a bunch of plots in the beginning of the game. Of course, you want to hold your weapon cards, like giant, you know, robot, and stuff like that. Not bad. Kind of odd that you doesn't come with any dice and you need two dice to play the game. The card stock is all right. So probably a lot of... A lot of luck of the draw and dice rolls. I don't know. Seems like it'd be a, an okay, an okay game. Oh, okay, so the character cards are a different color back, which is nice. So you get quite a few characters to choose from. There is Ninja High School, the Mega Ka card game. I don't know if this is like a comic book or a manga property or what. 